let's talk about nose breathing because there seems to be a misunderstanding here. I hear some people say that Boss doesn't want people to breathe through their noses. Okay, well, you won't find any video where I make that statement. Of course, I would never make that statement because we all know that nose breathing is very important. Now, first of all, 95% of the people breathe incorrectly, chest breathing, right? Instead of using their diaphragm. Well, just know that four to six of these shoulder raising breaths are the same as one diaphragmatic breath. Not only that, from those 95% chest breathers, 75% breathe through their mouths and not their noses. So what is nose breathing important for? Well, first of all, you can pull in less air into your lungs by nose breathing other than by mouth breathing. And because of that, you activate your diaphragm more. Since it's compared to mouth breathing, a little tiny bit with resistance, especially during exercise. So that's already much better. And since you are breathing diaphragmatically, guess what? It's much better for your posture as well. Now, nose breathing also filters the air. It pulls out harmful bacteria. And since it gets the air into your lungs slower, because you have bigger and longer breaths, it absorbs the oxygen much better. Not only that, nose breathing also produces NO, nitric oxide. That's a vasodilator, meaning it opens your blood vessels more. They get wider, and because they get wider, blood starts pumping faster because your blood pressure drops, and the body wants to simply keep that blood pressure up. Don't worry, though. This is actually really good for the body. It has a crazy name, though. Reflex tachycardia. Just wanted to throw it out there. But because of all this happening, you have about 20% better O2 absorption. Now, last thing. It also humidifies your olfactory epithelium. I know it's a big word but it's the only word for it. The olfactory epithelium is right up here, is there to make sure that your smell stays perfect. So again, very important. That's a lot of good things. Now, what is mouth breathing bad for? Well, I already mentioned it, right? Posture. By the way, there's much more. Gum disease, crowded teeth, chronic fatigue, cavities, cracked lips, sore throat, sleep apnea, digestive issues, Worse nutrition absorption, since when you breathe diaphragmatically, you are actually massaging your intestines. And by the way, it massages your heart as well. But your intestines, better for nutrition. Then it's also bad for snoring, speech, headaches in the mind. Trust me, try to breathe through your nose. Now, this is the big question here. My boss, you use the O2 trainer by mouth and not by nose. Yes, but it's only four and a half minutes a day. Listen, you take about 22,000 breaths a day. 500 or 1,000 breaths through your mouth is not going to make a difference. And the O2 trainer is actually only 30 breaths through your mouth. But because the O2 trainer will strengthen your breathing muscles, oh yeah, after you're done with the O2 trainer, you will be able to breathe even better through your nose since you will have more power. See it as weight training, right? When you go to a gym, you use weights to make your muscles stronger so that when you leave the gym, you go home and you give your body rest and protein, very important, your muscles become stronger. You're not going to take those weights with you everywhere you go, right? It wouldn't make any sense. The O2 trainer is weight training for your breathing muscles. So your breathing muscles become more powerful. That combined with nose breathing is the perfect combination.